Hello, I am Gray for How Bizarre Studios, and today I will be talking about the Archie Comics Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Adventures comics. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles animated series came out at the end of 1987, and it was an instant hit. The toy line associated with the show was also a great hit in 1988, but this introduced a problem. In order to make the toys and the show, the franchise had to be adapted to a younger audience. Kids were definitely not supposed to read the original, more adult-oriented Mirage comics. So a comic book adaptation of the TV show was published in August 1988 by Archie Comics. It was a miniseries adapting the first season, written and penciled by Michael Dooney and inked by Dave Garcia. By March of 1989, Archie started a new ongoing series, adapting episodes from season two of the show. But this universe became its own after issue number four, which adapted the episode The Incredible Shrinking Turtles. The Eye of Sarnath storyline, which took several episodes of the second season, had a different ending, and as we would learn later, a different backstory as well. Starting with issue number five, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Adventures started publishing original stories in a universe that was separate from both the TV show and the Mirage comics. Many of the plots revolved around environmental issues, a common subject in Steve Murphy's stories, who wrote in this book under the pseudonym of Dean Clarain. He would sometimes co-plot with Ryan Brown and Chris Allen. Many artists worked on the book, like Ken Mitroni, Chris Allen, Jim Lawson, Gene Kalan, Garrett Ho, Dan Berger, Gray Morrow, Brian Thomas, and more. The series also had spin-off miniseries and specials, plus team-up stories with other kid-friendly franchises, like Archie. These are some of the most notable characters of this universe. Cuddly the Cowlick was an alien cowhead that could transport beings and things throughout space in his mouth. It was created by Steve Levine and brought into the Turtleverse in Tales of the TMNT number 52. Like many other characters in the lore, Cuddly seems to be the same character every time he shows up in a new incarnation. Ninjara, also known as Umiko, was a non-mutated, fox-like woman. She joined the Turtles in their adventures and became Raphael's girlfriend for a while. Being created by Stephen Murphy and Chris Allen, she continued to exist in her own comic outside of Archie Comics, but was more adult-oriented. Man Ray was a mutated marine biologist named Jack Finney. He was based on Ray Follet from the toy line and became the leader of the Mutanimals. He was created by Stephen Murphy and Ryan Brown. Slash was an alien snapping turtle, exiled in the prison planet of Morbus after seeking revenge for his shattered world, Palma Dice. He joined Krang briefly, but then stayed on Earth, making short cameos every now and then. Jaguar was the son of Juntara and the powerful Jaguar spirit. Despite the obvious dialogues in Spanish, the character used to live in the Brazilian rainforest. He later joined the Mutanimals. He was created by Michael Dooney. Null was a businessman that seemed to be demonic in nature. He was responsible for the death of the Mutanimals. Perhaps to fix his misogynistic nature, he was changed into a female character in future incarnations. Dreadmon was a South African native who was sent to Jamaica by his father to put him at safety from the apartheid. But he was poor, and one day, after stealing a talisman, it imbued him with super speed. The abuse of the talisman powers made him transform into a Tasmanian devil-like character. He was created by Ryan Brown and Stephen Murphy. Maligna was the matriarch of a vicious society of insect-like aliens who attempted to overtake planet Earth for its natural resources. Wingnut and Screwloose were survivors of a genocide in their home world caused by Krang. They later joined the Mighty Mutanimals. This wasn't Wingnut's first appearance, as he debuted first in a mini-comic that came out with the TMNT serial. They were created by Ryan Brown. Armagon was a mutant shark from the future. 
He was created by Peter Laird and Stephen Murphy. Cherube was a vanguard of Dimension X, who transformed Jess Harley into Leatherhead, and later joined the Turtles in their fight against Krang and Maligna. Finally, the most notable addition to the lore was the creation of the Mighty Mutanimals. Despite their name, only two were mutants. They had a short-lived spin-off series that was canceled and followed by their sudden deaths. At the time, co-creators Ryan Brown and Stephen Levine pitched a TV animated series for the fall of 1993. The show was rejected by Fred Wolf, who was producing the TMNT series at that time. So the series was shopped around and found a home at Ruby Spears. But legally, there were big questions as to whether this show would be connected to the Fred Wolf show. The turtles were going to appear and Ninjara was going to be a mutanimal. To complicate things further, some of these characters already appeared in the Fred Wolf series as villains. All those issues aside, there was another problem. Playmates was supposed to release a toy line for the show, but they quickly noticed that most of these characters had been released previously in their TMNT line. Therefore, they didn't see the potential, and despite Ruby Spears wanting to do the cartoon, without a supporting toy line, the show was cancelled. Perhaps in spite, all the mutanimals were killed off in a single panel after this happened. Did I mention this was supposed to be for kids? Well, I think you can see where the situation is going. In the first seven original stories, the Turtles met new characters like Man Ray, Leatherhead, Wingnut and Screwloose, Cuddly, Rat King, Worm, Scumbag, and Chameleon. During these issues, the Turtles got abducted into the intergalactic wrestling competition. These issues also introduced Ace Duck. Issues 12 and 13 introduced Maligna and dive deeper into the mysterious Cherube, opening a path into the formation of the Mutanimals. In that story, Krang was taken to the prison planet Morbus. Shredder was sent to a regular prison and Bebop and Rocksteady were sent to a paradise planet. This took them out of the comic. Almost. Issues 14 to 18 introduced individual mutanimals to the turtles or to each other. Jaguar, Dreadmon, and Mondo Gecko. In issues 19 and 20, the series introduced Null and the formation of the mighty mutanimals. Man Ray, Jaguar, Dreadmon, Leatherhead, Wingnut, and Screwloose, and eventually Mondo. This is where they got their spin-off miniseries. For issues 21 to 25, the Turtles had their final confrontation with Krang, also fighting Vid Vicious and Slash. Then the Turtles started traveling around the world in a saga that is considered culturally insensitive and was therefore not collected in its entirety. The Turtles and April went to Japan in issues 28 to 30. There they met Ninjara who joined the Turtles and became an instant romantic interest for Raphael. The Turtles would travel for seven issues in an arc ending in the intergalactic wrestling competition, where Donatello finally became a champion. The next big arc was the Future Shark Trilogy, which introduced Armagon. This saga took yet another step into a darker path. In the comic book that already tackled the apartheid, sexism, slavery, genocide, corruption, and all sorts of cynical topics. While the future of Earth was shown before in this run, the repercussions of climate change were an essential part of this story. Writer Stephen Murphy would later continue the same future forecast into the main TMNT books. Issues 46 to 47 led to the Black Hole trilogy where we finally got the resolution for the Sarnath arc from issue number 4. It was around this time when the Mutanimals were killed off, and Slash became a martyr, dying to put an end to Maligna. That last big story was between issues 62 to 66, promoting the Cyber Samurai Mutant Ninja Turtles that were already a part of the Playmates toy line. After announcing the Forever War saga that would close a number of open plots, Stephen Murphy was let go off Archie Comics because his scripts were too dark and violent. 
Hitler blowing his brains out and interspecies relationship were probably too much for the younger audiences, and their parents. The Forever War saga was cancelled and the book itself only lasted two more issues in 1995. Archie did publish a final mini-series named Year of the Turtle, written by Dan Slott and penciled by Hugh Haynes. This served as the last story of this universe. The Forever War story would remain in limbo for years, with Mirage at some point promising to publish it and with some pages already in existence and even colored. But when Viacom bought the Turtles, this project got cancelled. It is still possible for this saga to be published in some way or another. IDW has publishing rights for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles adventure, so that could still happen. It is worth saying that comic books at the time were starting to come out of their grim and gritty phase in general. But deaths and shocking events were part of the comic book landscape even in 1995. This book ended up being a more serious take on the 1987 cartoon, kind of like what the TV show would have been with the Mirage Comics staff in charge of it. At some point, this book was more than likely outselling the original comic book. The additions to the TMNT lore were essential for the franchise, not only creating characters that would make it into future incarnations, but also introducing characters from the toy line. That is all for today. If you enjoyed this video, press the like button and leave a comment. Thanks for watching.